I am really disappointed to say that I have zero funny stories to tell you about when I got my wisdom tooth taken out. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Daisy Party in the last episode. We got through Shy Guy's Jungle Jamboree, and yeah, I know it's Jungle Jam, not Jamboree, it's just that making titles super long makes everything better, if my username is any indication. And in this episode, we're going to Goomba's Greedy Gala, which is a very luck-based board and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Whoa, let's rock this party! Viva Las Vegas! No, we're not gonna have another musical board. Uh, maybe we will, I don't know. Here we are, Gro Groombas. Goombas Greedy Gala. No, it's not the pet groomers. We are going to Vegas land. Casino land. Daisy, Wanamiji, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, finally! Welcome to Goombas Greedy Gala. This place is the top, so let me show you around. So, hey, I had all this space, and I made it into a casino. Pretty high class, no? Feel free to heart pound in your... Ner nerves? Wait, what? Feel your heart pound. I thought I said feel free to let your heart pound. No. Feel your heart pound and your nerves jitter as you lay it all on the line. Now, who's gonna go first? Uh, we got... Uh, going third, okay. Donkey Kong's going first. Waluigi second. Daisy third. And Yoshi fourth. Getting ourselves ten coins. And we're on our merry way! Ready to beat the odds, more like ready to tip the scales. The first star of the game is over there, so... The main gimmick of this board is that big ol' uh, roulette wheel you saw in the middle right there. Of course, DK's not gonna let us see it because he gets a one. But the roulette wheel, it sort of splits up these... Wow, okay, everyone's getting a one this board. What a great sign of things to come. Can I break the trend? Yay, I did it! Okay, so, and hey, I got an 8, and then they got a 1-1, one, one, so we put together a 10 or something like that. I don't know. Those are the weird things that my mind goes to. What do we got? Uh, step this way, step this way, welcome to the item shop. I got everything you need. I got what you need, except she's just a friend. I don't want anything. Are you sure you don't want to pass this up? All right, then catch you later. By the way, I'm so stinking excited that Goomba's a playable character in Super Mario Party. That already makes it a better game than 9 and 10. But seriously, that roulette wheel that I keep on trying to talk about, we actually can't get to it within a single roll on the first turn, so that's kind of interesting. But it splits, this, splits the place up into four separate quadrant, squadron sort of things. And it could be kind of luck-based as to whether or not you get there. It's not like Toad's Midway Madness in which you it's just a matter of who gets there first. It's just a matter of luck of the draw, so everyone is luck-based. So I kind of like it a bit better. It's not a matter of uh, first come, first serve, so everyone's sort of evenly matched in this sense. But at the same time, it's still kind of annoying that you could just get very unlucky over and over again. But you could tip the scales in your favor a bit, which we'll get into as we get into that board again. But we're going to go and play three throw again. Yeah, I, got, I just realized that, like, I still never put together a list of, like, all the minigames. Like, every Mario Party LP, I'm like, I should make a list of the minigames so I can make sure to know which ones I have and haven't played. But I never stink and do it because uh, I'm in Ambion, what is taking notes. I was actually very excessive with taking notes in Fire Red and Super Mario RPG, my first two LPs. And that, that was a very lucky shot right there. Um, but I just stopped doing it after that. I was just like, writing's annoying. I don't want to do it. Uh, wow, that was a very interesting shot. Uh, just give me some wants to do like you're you're what am I trying to say the people at the ends of this game uh, have a lot more luck than the other ones because they get like first serve to uh, take a shot in the basket I don't know sports terms you know what I'm trying to say like if you if you're on the sides then you get to do the basket first but whatever I won the main game anyway so what am I complaining about But yes, I'm just like, oh, I need to make a list of all the minigames I play, but at the same time, I never stink and do it. Watch it be like Mario Party 8, the final Mario Party LP, and I just still have never done it. And yeah, I know, um, I'm pretty sure I said this before, I have no plans to let's play 9 and 10 because they are not fun. And now that I can finally talk about this, thanks, stinking god, I can talk about my time limit of LPs, so... Uh, if you didn't see the anniversary video, I announced that I'm halfway done with my Let's Play journey, so my Let's Play journey will end on Let's Play 120. So I've got to be very careful with the games that I'm choosing because I want to make sure that they're memorable and meaningful. I don't want to just LP whatever game for the heck of it. So I'm not wasting my time with 9 and 10 because they are huge stinking trash heaps, so whatever. Now we got a 5, so we can finally show off this single roulette wheel. What do we got? What do you get? Welcome to the roulette where you'll go, nobody knows. <laughs> Ahem, if nobody's looking, slip me some coins and I just might get you closer to the star. What do you say, you wanna pay me to stop it? 
So you could just say no and have a complete random chance as to which place you go. If you pay 5 coins, uh, he'll tip it in your favor a little bit. 10 coins, uh, you have a pretty good chance. 20 coins, you have a, a very good chance. It's still not a definite chance, though. And it's just sort of luck of the draw. I'll... Uh, can I say... Me? Yeah, I like guarantees. Oh, I, I wanted to look at the map again, my bad. I like guarantees, but hey, it's your choice. I figured that you were playing to win. I just wanted to see if, like, I would accidentally walk past the star, because, like, I didn't want to pay him 5 coins and then walk past the star and then not have enough. That's what I was trying to see, but I guess that didn't work. But anyway, you see those little star panels on the roulette wheel? I don't know, I like, just saying, like, roulette wheel. Apparently losing my wisdom tooth has... Hey, wait, yeah, it's a wisdom tooth, so I lost the ability to speak. But wait, I didn't have that before, so god diggity darn it. Oh boy, I'm gonna be the worst commentator and lp -er for the rest of eternity, whatever. The star panels on the roulette wheel. Make it so, if you get those, then you get 20 coins and you get to choose where you go. It's very cool, but very rare. Now start the roulette! Finally got to say the word right this time. And red squadron, quadrant, squad, zone, land. Oh, we got the lottery. I think the purple one's where we wanted to go, but you could access the other ones through different means, so it's not like you're trapped in that area forever. If you were, that'd be very bad game design, so thankfully that isn't the case. It was just gonna get all big and stuff. Usually I just pay five points, but I wanted to check the map. Of course I messed that up, but whatever. It's early in the game, you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, I will worry though if Yoshi goes into the red zone like me. Uh, he's not paying coins either, not like he has many coins to spare. Uh, he gets blue, she's blue, da boo dee da boo da. And okay. That's the end of the turn, I forgot Yoshi was last. We got, yeah, he's in the purple zone, I think, sort of, kind of. The one thing I don't really like about the Mario Party 4 boards, like, it's not really noticeable unless someone outright mentions it, is that when comparing to all the other 3D Mario Party games, like, the boards themselves don't really have any design to them. We've seen this mini game before. The boards themselves don't have really a design to them. It's just that the same uh, gray grid that you all walk on top of, and then there's just stuff on the underside or the bottom in the background that makes it look like a different board, but the path that you're walking on, it's all the same gray road, which I kind of don't like. I liked in the earlier games how they were all integrated into the land, the spaces were on the land and stuff. We were actually going through that, and it was just like a background thing. But it's only with this game, like, it's not bad or whatever, it's just that, like, obviously if I had to, like, examine and compare all the Mario Party, like, aesthetics, I guess this one would not be winning any awards, I guess. But whatever, I'm not one to critique things too much, so, or maybe I am, I don't know. Just keep on going through here. So, actually, speaking of that, I was thinking of, like, um, directions and just which I want him, uh, this channel to go. I know my commentary is like very free range and stuff I talk about, so I sort of have these things covered uh, just on a regular basis. But people wouldn't really know that because it isn't really labeled as such. So if I'm talking about like my hopes for E3, no one's gonna know that because the episode title is labeled Mario Party 4 episode whatever. But if I have a video labeled my thoughts for E3, everyone will be more interested in that because that's a topic that they want to know about. But for a regular LP, you won't know about that um, until you actually get into the video. You won't know that I'm going to be talking about that sort of thing. So I was just thinking I. Uh, I was considering making a top 10 video of the top 10 Echo Fighters or characters in general that I want to see in Smash uh, Ultimate. I keep wanting to call it Smash 4, I don't know why, but like, um, Smash Ultimate is the name of the game. But, I don't know, I just wanted to make a video about that, but it's just not something I typically do. But it was, it's something that I would typically do just in a video. I'd be like, hey, here's the characters that I think would be a cool idea. But I don't know, I think top 10 videos are just fun. It's just fun for discussion, and I know I do it in uh, regular videos normally, but I feel like people would be more interested to uh, check them out, and it'd be a lot easier to locate and find if they were just in videos. And I had a lot of fun with my top 10 episodes of SpongeBob that I did for my Battle for Bikini Bottom LP, so maybe I could do that, maybe not. I know it's just like kind of awkward to fill a channel with a lot of different topics and subjects, though uh, having LPs and top 10s would be a lot less awkward or just a lot less different, I guess, than LPs and Dream Diary videos, so I guess it wouldn't be too crazy of me to do that, but I don't know, and everyone's in the blue zone, <laughs> except for me, however. I think I have a, yeah, I have a actual chance of getting to the purple zone while these guys do not. Uh, let's look at the map a little bit real quick. The only way I could get to the purple zone where the star is, is through a mini mushroom, or through this thing. We'll get into that when we cross it. For now, we're just gonna keep on going. Uh, we got number five. Uh, into the lottery. Got ourselves a lottery ticket for the game, very nice. And we are going to spin the wheel. The wheel of wow. Woohoo! What kind of, what the kind of noise was that blue ball? We got blue balls! If it's a mini mushroom, oh, mega mushroom. 
One time I actually would have wanted a mini mushroom, but a super mega mushroom is still a really good item. Can we get to make sure to tell your friends about this amazing place? A uh, mega mushroom is actually not the greatest thing to use in this board because you kind of need to cross these sort of board events in order to get in and out of certain squadrons. You can do, still do the main uh, roulette in the middle thing, even if you're big or small, but it's the other things that you need to have access to. Um, and you can't do that when you're mega, so I would actually recommend not using them all that often unless you are in the same squadron as everyone else. I don't even know if squadron's a word, but I keep on saying squadron, uh, but whatever. Gonna go two versus two mini game. Uh, we got Dungeon Duos, a fan favorite from this game. It's a very long mini game. I think it's. I would go as far as to say it might be the longest mini game Mario Party history. But then again, nine and ten are all about like we have a boss battle mini games that are very annoying and dumb and three phases and stupid and enemies that should be playable characters and stuff or whatever. Help your teammate to clear all the obstacles in this dank dungeon. I don't remember it saying dank dungeon. Uh, move, jump, and move a lever. But also, rotate a platform, rotate a platform, and fill a balloon with air. You'll see as we go along. Work with your teammate to escape the smooth, escape smoothly so you don't waste time. So it's like a very long obstacle course, and it's very samey, and like, um, one of the rewards you get for, um, there's a reward of a room, I guess, a present room that we'll be going over later. Well, actually, we saw it before how I really don't remember this minigame, apparently. Um, there's a present room, as we've been seeing all of Daisy's presents go. Uh, you get presents for clearing story mode with certain characters, but also for clearing certain minigames or uh, achievements or challenges in certain minigames in general. And I don't know why I'm failing this so bad. I usually, I used to be completely uh, memorize this by heart, and you think I remember after having to clear story mode like eight times in a row, uh, as I mentioned before, because I was trying to get everyone's presents ready for this LP, but whatever. Apparently I don't know anything. I was really expecting me to fall right there but as soon as I said that. Uh, but, <laughs> of course. I swear to God, Lakitu, you put me at the beginning. Yeah, I spent me back. What I was trying to say is that there is a certain reward you get for clearing this in a certain time limit, so uh, it could be skill-based, but at the same time, uh, the later half of this is kind of luck-based, so uh, Donkey Kong, I'm going to go ahead and do that. No, this one kind of broken, so you have to wait for the specific platform, and use the X button this time. Okay, I'm understanding the basic concept now. Uh, go over here. Come on, 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 come uh, as soon as I just remember what buttons I'm supposed to press, then it's all good and dandy, but this is the luck-based part, just which warp pipe you gotta go- Oh, I got that on the first try. <laughs> I felt the vibration, and Donkey Kong's like, oh, I sense vibration. Uh, I got a two sting and Wow, if I didn't mess up all the buttons and stuff, this would've been like a perfect run. But, okay, of course I messed that up, and I'm sorry that Eleanor is very loud. The classic video game control button mashing sound of goodness. When you really know you're playing video games, when you hear this sound back in the old days. Uh... We're good. I lost. Somehow I won that. It was really not deserving, but whatever. And that balloon just clips through the square in the roof, which is very funny. DK Daisy won, and we just went, yeah! And like a DK was just vigorously flexing. 44.